Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we came here to the Ocean View Motel and we got rid of a, a poop monster that was in the first room eventually. And um, we now have a key but I don't really know what it's for. It doesn't appear to be for any of these doors. So what about this one? Do you suppose? Maybe? Oh, well, that was easy. Okay. There we are. Uh, oh, it was three times, wasn't it? Whoa! Okay, follow Otty's visions. Oh, jeez, Louisa. We're back at the quarry. God bless it. Let's go claim this control point. Oh! Alright. I don't think we've got any more points to spend, have we? Let's have a look. Oh, we do have abilities. Okay, so we have three. Three, three, three. 20% more energy. Um, see, we don't really do melee, do we? We don't really use it. Shield, 20% more shield for two. Hmm, shield barrage, 100% to shield barrage. That might be useful. We really should start using C's a little bit more. Or should we do levitation? I do use levitation quite often. So maybe we'll um, we'll go with that, actually. quite like the sound of that. And now we've only got one. So they are. Woohoohoo. All right. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. We need to follow. Ooh, Artie's visions. What's this? Albany. What? Uh, Albany summary. Ooh, Albany AWE-29. Event summary. A response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at Redacted Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved AI-63. Event response. The Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the Redacted Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field agent Redacted accompanied a squad of Ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item, which they successfully retrieved. Ooh, I wonder what it was, though. Interesting. I think this is all we've read all this, haven't we? Artie's cabin? What? Lamille lumps, holiday humps, the sauna is warm, the beer is cold, and the kosu is in ice. Otti. Oh, so Otti's on holiday. Very nice. Lovely, I'm sure. Multimedia, I think we listened to all of these, didn't we? And the hotline. Descent. Ashtray maze. Ashtray maze? Oh, that weird room that we found. Well, weird set of corridors that we found. Okay, so what's, what's, what's in here? Hello? Oh god, we're back at this quarry. What's 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 going on? What's all the Oh god, it's these balls of death again. Um I suppose we go over there, maybe. Whee! Haha, I don't think we had this last time, did we? The floaty. So we need to just avoid these Oh my god! Of all the stupid things to do. That was one of them, wasn't it? All right, let's... Um... Okay, all right. Let's just chill. Let's just chill a minute. You can sod off. Like that. There you are. Have that. And you. You can clear out as well. Go away. Go and deal with the balls of death. Go away. There you are. Have it. Oh. Oh, we can't get any higher. God bless it. Right, well, we'll go over this way then. Oh, 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 oh. So we need to get up there. Hmm. Maybe we can... Cheese it over this way. So what's what's the light here? Artie's place? Artie's... Hello? Hmm. Okay, well, do we have to call a lift or do we do we just yeah? Or maybe we go up the ladder? Is there a ladder? Oh. 
Okay, I guess we maybe have to have to float down, possibly? I don't. I don't. I suppose. Oh. Go steady now. Up. Oh. Restricted area. What? Ooh. So, so, so what's in here? Cable cart control. Ooh. Hello. Anything else in here? Any goods? Any files? Anything of any interest? Probably not. Okay. Well, well, well. My, my, my. My, my, my. Hmm. This is very, um, very strange. Okay, so this just leads round. What, what about up here? Just being ever so careful. Checking everything out. Got to check everything out, haven't we? Make sure it's all good in the hood. So, these are moving sheets of black rock, aren't they? I think. If memory serves me. Let's just um, take a little peep. Black rock. Whoa. Holy guacamole. Look at this. Wow. All right. Okay. Let's take a little peep in here. Oh. Are you... Are you... Anyone else? No? Wow. Really? That's it? All right. What's this? Albany supplement. Ooh. Okay. Albany, AWE-29. Details. Upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise, redacted along the south side of the building caused it to collapse inward. Wooden crates in accelerated physical redacted from redacted rendered field agent redacted and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble, they found AI-63 at the origin of the redacted, attracting and repelling debris. They stood guard around the item until the moon set, at which point the altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the Bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. The collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians, and thus no re-informing by the communications department was required. Hmm. So, hmm. what is it then, do you suppose? All right, so, all right. Press. So what did we do? Did we do something? Have we done something? Is something here? Hello? Oh, God, you. Have a whole shelf. Oh. Cool. Health. Get all the jazz. Oh, like it hurt, bro. Oh, imagine that whole the whole barrel to the face. We need some health. Dude, have all that. Oh! Would you like a friend in the face? Oh my god! I do enjoy the throw the people thing. It's kind of fun. Is that weird to say? I just like throwing people around. It's great. Alright. Oh, he moved. God bless it, he moved. One more dude, I think. Hey, buddy! Oh, God. Well, there you are. Oh, my God. That took some doing. All right. I can hear Artie's voice. I assume we're going on here. Sounds like it. Okay. Oh, 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 we're on the move. We're on the move. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? 
We finally made it. That took ages. Sankarin Tango. Hero Tango. Oh, so I see. So we get the whole song. Dude. Whoa. Look at this. My God. Mm. All right. So, well, what's... Are we... I assume this is our way to get back. But we can't obviously go back yet. Okay. So this is nowhere? Apparently? There's something up ahead. Is there? Do Where? you see it? Whoa, what? Oh, 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 there's something here though. What's this? Plastic tree supplement. What? Okay, this is a little random. Um yeah, I think it's this. Holiday Memories Tree, AI 14-AE. Supplementary materials. Excerpt from altered speech of AI 14 by Dr. Theodore Ash. The results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery this allows us. AI 14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested this specific string of words, a formula, if you will, on the altered items kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one, with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward. And to think, there are still more words to be found. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Alright. So what's the... It's like a holiday thing? Hello? Otty? Are you here, dude? My god, we've got a long way to go. Oh, so it's like, whoa, look. Like a forest. Wow. Yes. Holidays. Okay. Whoa. What's going on here? Okay, all right. Adi? <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your song? Oh, it is. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bark don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Oh, good. Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. Okay. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The What's all that? The keys. This is weird, man. Okay, let's 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 do this thing. So what's all that up there? Is that where we came from? It is. Look, because there's the lift. So. All right, well, maybe we can just go straight back there then, rather than have to faff about. Let's, um, oh, we've got some more of these skills. Okay, all right, let's, um, let's just fast travel our way out of here. So, I think we now need to go to the ashtray maze. So, let's just go directly there. Screw it. Let's go. All right, so the ashtray maze. Here we are. So, how do we, hmm. Reach dimensional research. So how do we get through? Okay. Oh, I see. Is it? There's every chance, guys. I might have to um, cut this out or put some something over it.
Wow. Okay, geez Louise. Ah, I don't like that. That's freaky. Oh! Jeez. So I suppose there's anything else? Take a seat. here.
Wow. Okay. What's with all the shoes? That's my question. I haven't really spoke much through this because the music is quite cool, actually. Wow, look at this. Well. And that was the ashtray maze, and that was really cool. It was. I loved it. That was brilliant. I was going to cut the music out, but you know what? I'll leave it in. Screw it. The expedition to Slidescape 36. What? What Darling brought back. Oh, yeah. I remember. Changed everything. Okay. This looks a little spooky. All right. So, so what's in here? What did he bring back? Dimensional research. Dun, dun, dun. Here we are, folks. Okay, what's this? Janitor complaint. Oh, dear. Okay. Has anyone seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? And how the fudge did he get through the maze? Dr. Tan. Dr. Tan, you need to calm down, man. Artie gave us some cool music. Artie, sorry. Artie gave us some cool music. Said it was a gift from his friends. And do you know what? It was awesome. I hope... Um, I'm sure we can probably find out who the song was by. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. Mm. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. Oh, of course, we're talking to um, Polaris, nearly called it. her, him, Solaris then. Why these cameras don't be peeping at me. Get out of here. So what are all these like, these are obviously dimension gates maybe? Oh wait. Hmm. I know this is probably a waste of time, but I just I just want to um, make my point. Get out! Stop peeping. It's rude. Rude. I need sand memo. Federal Bureau of Control. To all dimensional research staff. I've heard that numerous people have been complaining about the sand piled up around the dimensional research. This sand is precious research material from a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have the time. If you attempt to clean or dispose of this sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavour. You will spend the rest of your career licking envelopes in a cubicle staring at a cat poster. Do not touch my sand, Dr. Darling. All right, chill out with your sand, Mr. Sandman. Bring us a dream, mate. Good Lord. Go away. And you... And you, and you and all. Any more notes, research, anything? It's bloody dark in here. I know that much. Ooh, hello. Anything good? Anything useful? Rate of fire. Eh, do you know what? We could probably do with looking at some of our... Oh, God. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I pressed the wrong. Okay, we freed up a bit of space, did a little bit of uh, 
housekeeping there, should we say. A little bit of housekeeping, we'll call it. Okay, so... Polaris, is this a point we can... Yes, it is. Ah. Ah. Okay, thank you. Let's just have a look. I don't think... No, we've got no abilities. That's fine. Not a problem. So this is the sand, is it? Jeez, Louise, this is a lot of bloody sand, man. You wouldn't need this much sand, would you? D Ooh, all right. Okay. This is a lot of sand. So what happened to Darling, I wonder? Is he dead? Is he a hiss? Hello? Oh, you there know. There was a doorway here. To where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Look at this. Wow. Are you close? It's kind of... on the other side? Cool. Isn't it? Like... I don't know. It's weird. It's like we're... When you look at it, we're kind of see-through, almost. All right, so, well, what's this over here? This button. There's a button. Look at this. It's like... Ooh, I don't know. Half, half in, half out. What's this? This is the lift button. So what's this way, then? Ooh. It's like a superimposed image. I wonder if we could get up to these, do you suppose? Maybe? All right. Oh. Stand away from frame when emergency lights are on. Ha! Huh. How bizarre. All right, let's 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 have a little peep up here. Just see, and then we'll go and press the button. Why not? It doesn't look like there's anything up here. Let's be real. Boop. Ha. Anything up here? Oh, there was Oh, God, no, there weren't. Ah, saw that, though. <laughs> Move it. Let's have a look. Anything good? Intrusive pattern. Oh, so it's material. All right. Well, let's go back up. Jesse, can you... Yes, there you go. Good girl. So what's in here? Anything? Ooh. There's a button. Another button for us to play about with. Anything else? Hmm. Okay. So what does it do? Ooh! What's this? The projector's not here. Moved again. Hmm. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. Yep. Do not touch or move the projector. Well, somebody bloody well did, didn't they? Good God. So what's... This is just a door thing, do you suppose? The projected image oh. from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. And Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars, like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. But communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Jesus. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. Hmm. Is this just how it started? The projected image yeah. from each slide is a, a physical So we came through here. So what's all what's this thing do? Is this just another door thing? Does it just shut the door? Yeah, just shuts the door. Bloody hell. 
What? Oh, we can't shoot the bloody camera. God bless it. Hello? Hello? Ah! More files, okay. Hedron Containment. Okay. Hedron Containment and Siphoning Practices. Confidential. Summary. Hedron and the Hedron Resonance are arguably the greatest assets this Bureau has ever possessed. The security of Hedron is unspeakably vital, which is why we have redacted from the majority of Bureau employees. This report details the containment procedures required for the Hedron Containment Chamber, including details on the redacted being pumped into the containment cell. Mechanical upkeep of the resonance siphons and the arrangement of the acoustic pillars to dampen or amplify the sonic range of the chamber. Note, for more information on the proper operational procedures of the resonance siphons, an additional report is coming soon. Refer to file 7-31-1830 for full report. Very curious. So, what's in here, do you suppose? Hmm. This is all very odd. Very odd indeed. Alright, so, so... Oh, it's another one of these bloody things. Oh! It's right next to it, though. Okay, um... Okay. Oh! Is that right? Oh no. Oh, crumbs. That's it, we did it. Expedition three. Oh god. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity. Oh god. A living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron. We, 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 we built Was that board. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? <gasps> You're here. Pilatus! You're here. They have you. I know you. <gasps> I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming. All right, so, 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 okay. All right, let's go. So that's... Do you have anything else to say on that video? What? Whoa, whoa. What the hell is happening here? Dude! I'm Dr. Casper Darling, and this, this is my final message. Why are you half naked in your underpants? It's not the end. But after this, I won't. I won't. I exposed myself to Hedron Resonance fully. It, oh God, it dude! Is, it's changing me. Mm. I. I see you. I've been shown so much. Right. Slide Skate Thirty Six was where Hedron. Stop the spread of another. It's, oh, it's terrifying. It really is. It's another source of resonance. Is it the hiss? Trench was exposed to this other. It will now spread. I've done everything that I can to stop it. The Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I, I, I won't be here when it happens. I, I should have told him any more. Mm. I'm being said one more lesson. Something wonderful, I think. Okay. Well, dude, just, oh, all right. 
Okay, I think um, Dr. Darling might have um, gone a little cuckoo bananas to uh, towards the end there, but well, all right, okay, let's 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 go then. My God, so 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 Polaris is here, and he called her her. Would you say her? Eh, maybe the Hedron. Okay. The door's open. Oh my god. Okay, the door's open. Come on now, come on. Oh. So. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Is that like a giant hedron thingy? My god. Bloody hell. Well, do you know what, folks? I think that is where we're going to leave it for today. Next time we will investigate further, but this has really taken a turn this week. My God, I'm I'm astounded. So Polaris is a real physical thing, and and Doctor Darling went a little bit cuckoo bananas, but he he finally sort of exposed himself to the resonance, and it sounds like Trench exposed himself to resonance accidentally, but it was the wrong resonance. It was the Hiss resonance. I don't know. But we'll find out next time. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.